Hey, Meta, take a video. Hey, Meta, stop. All right, TJ, let's take a look at your serve. You actually did pretty good. I think you could do more of like a forward follow through. Notice how your body kind of stayed here. Mm -hmm. You want to end with your feet in the court. Got it, okay. Hey, I'm Haley. I'm TJ. And today we're talking about Ray-Ban Meta, which is the latest generation of smart eyewear from Ray-Ban. These glasses replace Ray-Ban Stories, which debuted in 2021. Ray-Ban made some major improvements and added some brand new features. You can do everything from take photos and videos hands-free to get instant help from a built-in AI assistant. Now we're gonna cover all the smart glasses features and how to use them. And we'll also touch upon how they differ from Ray-Ban Stories, the previous version. Now, one thing I really love about these meta glasses compared to the previous Stories version is how discreet they are. The Stories had a little bit more bulk and volume to them. So from an onlooker's perspective, you can kind of tell that you're wearing an electronic frame. However, with these guys, they're very discreet, as I mentioned, they slide in the face and it looks really just like a regular pair of Wayfarers. Also, to let you know that the glasses are tuned into your phone, you'll get a little buzz as soon as you put them on, just informing you that you're set up, ready to go. All right, taking a look at the first feature, we have the camera located on the left front of the temple, and then we have the capture button, which is located on the top of the right temple for taking the photos and videos. Yeah, it's a 12 megapixel HD camera that shoots high quality photos and records videos in 1080p. The camera also shoots in a vertical format because it needs to match the format of the social media platforms which you can upload to, namely IG and Facebook. The camera also adjusts to lighting around you so you can get high quality imagery even in low light settings. You can record a single video up to 60 seconds long and the glasses also have a 32 gigabyte storage capacity. This is a big improvement over Stories glasses, which featured five megapixel cameras with only four gigabyte storage. Stories also had a single video recording time of only 30 seconds. So I love that we have the 60 second option with these. So if you wanna take a photo with the glasses, all you have to do is press the capture button once. You'll see that LED capture light come on to alert people that you just took a photo. And you'll also hear a little camera snapshot sound in your ear. And then to take a video, you just hold the button down, you're recording, and then you just tap it once to end the recording. You can also use the voice command option and just say, hey Meta, take a photo. Now you get two open ear audio speakers in each temple that emit sound from above the temple as well as below. Yeah, and I really like that feature, especially for going on walks, you know, or going for a run. It's easy for you to be able to listen to your music, but also hear a car that's coming up behind you. Yeah, also the people around you can't hear your audio unless they're standing really close to you. And in comparison to stories, Ray-Ban also doubled the bass and increased the maximum volume, which I greatly appreciate because I like to crank my music and audio very loudly. Okay, and then on to one of my favorite features is the Spotify tap integration. So Ray-Ban Meta partnered with Spotify so you can easily stream your favorite playlist and your podcast hands-free. You can use voice commands to operate the Spotify feature or you can use the temple touchpad. You tap it once to play or pause, tap it twice to skip a song, and you can adjust the audio volume by sliding your finger along the touchpad here. It's really cool. You can also make calls and take calls completely hands-free, which I'm gonna demonstrate right now. Pop those on, Haley. I'm gonna give her a quick call just to see how she's doing. Hey, Meta, answer. Oh, hey, Haley. Oh, hey, TJ. Oh, wait, I gotta go, I'm shooting a video. <laughs> and if you're wondering how the audio is on a phone call on these glasses, Ray-Ban added in five microphones throughout the frame. You got them on the temple, you got them in the nose pad, they're everywhere. And it helps kind of block out that background noise so you get a really sharp connection. Speaking of hands-free, and if you're somebody like myself who doesn't necessarily like to talk to people on the phone, if you prefer to message, that's also something that you can do with the Ray-Ban Meta glasses, and it's compatible with Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and Google Messages. And for iOS messages, you can create a draft with the voice command, but you'll have to manually send the message on your phone. So basically I could just say, hey Meta, take a photo and send it to TJ on WhatsApp and he'll receive the photo. 
The other cool thing is Meta will confirm that it's sending it to the right person for your approval before sending, so no mistakes. I've been there before. Okay, on to one of the cool new features, which is live streaming. You can live stream directly from the glasses to Facebook and Instagram. You can even toggle back and forth between the glasses camera point of view as well as your phone camera's point of view. And you can even hear the comments in real time, so you can easily interact with your viewers. Finally, one of the biggest added features is the integration of Meta AI, that is artificial intelligence, although I doubt anybody watching this video doesn't know what that means. Say, hey Meta, followed by your question and AI will answer it in your ear via the temple speakers. You can also view all of your AI queries in the Meta View app. The app logs them for you to favorite them, send them to someone or delete them. So let's try it out. Hey Meta, what's the weather in San Diego, California? In San Diego, California, it is currently sunny and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And you're sitting pretty close to me. Were yeah. you able to hear it? Barely. It's, it's like a very mild, but no, you can't really make out words or syllables. So this is the first iteration of AI in Ray-Ban smart glasses. Looking forward, I think we can only expect it to improve. As the world continues to move toward a more hands-free experience, we might even get glasses with cameras that can register your surroundings and even tell you what you're looking at. This AI integration definitely feels like the beginning of something big for wearable tech and for Ray-Ban. Now the Ray-Ban Meta comes in two styles. You have the classic Wayfair and the brand new Headliner. It's available in a couple sizes and some new cool colorways, one being transparent that I think is really cool because it lets you see the tech within the frame. You can get it in clear sun as well as transition lenses. And for more info on these styles, you can check out our individual product reviews. And moving on to the battery life and how to charge these. So the glasses get up to four hours of continuous use per glasses charge. And to charge the glasses, you place them in the charging case, which is this guy right here. Also really cool, this is way smaller than the Stories case, if anyone had those. <laughs> um, and I like that it actually looks like a Ray-Ban case. So when you open it up, you can see the LED light right up here. And then on the inside, you see the little like charging port area. So if the glasses are not in the case, it kind of works like AirPods, if you have AirPods, um, then this light will reflect the charging status of the actual case. And if you have the glasses inside the case, then it will tell you the charge status of the glasses. So a yellow light is going to mean that charging is in progress or they're not fully charged. And the green light is going to mean that they're fully charged and ready to go. But Haley, what if the case runs out of battery life? So you have the charging port right here, which is compatible with a USB-C charging cord, which doesn't come with the purchase of Ray-Ban Meta glasses, but with everything kind of moving towards a USB-C charging compatibility, you probably already have one of those at home. Okay, Haley, so with a fully charged case, how many times can you charge your glasses? So if this case is fully charged, you can get about almost eight or nine full glasses charges which with stories, you could only get about three to four. So that's another really nice upgrade that they did with these. And TJ, what comes with a Meta Let purchase? me tell you, Haley, not only are you gonna get a charging case, a microfiber cleaning cloth to protect the frame and lenses, it also comes with a warranty and safety guide, as well as a quick start guide. And you must download the MetaView app from an online app store so you can effectively use the glasses and download all your content. Now we asked Meta for GPS directions, but Meta AI is still in development and GPS directions are not available yet. Maybe it's something we can look forward to in a future update from Meta. And while we don't recommend these glasses for your more rigorous sports, there's still plenty of use cases that we all at the office have found. Taking them to a basketball game or a baseball game, there's so many ways to use these. They are the perfect adventure buddy for your everyday life. Thanks for watching and check out our blog for specific instructions on how to use Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. And if you want more info about the individual styles, you can check out our overviews on those as well. If you want to see the next video coming up, you can click it right there. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. We'll be sure to get back to you. And don't forget to check us out on all social media platforms by our handle, at SportRx, and we'll see you guys next time.